Hi there, Leo. I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars. Now, everything seems to be happening in either your um, sixth house, which is to do with health and work, and uh, your twelfth house, which is the area of your know, inspiration and imagination. Um, so there's some pretty heavy activity there. We've got the Sun and Pluto in opposition there. So um, what this means to you is that, uh, firstly, you need to look after yourself. Okay, there still are only 24 hours in a day in case you had forgotten. So don't try and push in, you know, a few extra things on each day. Instead of doing that, schedule them for the, you know, for a couple of days forward and each and every day. It's important right now that you put some time aside for you. Now, um, this might just be to, you know, sit and watch the sunset or get up earlier and do some meditation or, you know, catch up with some friends and, um, you know, for a coffee or a glass of wine at the end of the day, which just helps your mind to go into a different drive and to reflect on what's happening, okay? Because when you're busy, busy all the time, what happens is your mind doesn't have any space or room to, to reflect and allow the thoughts to slip between the spaces. I, I love that. I, I think maybe I heard that from Deep, Deepak Chopra first many, many years ago. And it's true. And that's what I feel like you really need to do at the moment, just to sort of stay centered and, you know, to stay with what's happening with you. Now, the other thing that's happening this week for you, Leo, is Mercury, the planet of communication and commerce, moves into your sign on the 26th. Okay, so, um, and it's, it's, not retrograde it does go retrograde on the 15th of july okay so anything that you want to get done or put across or say um deals you want to you know negotiate and sign then this is the time to do that leading up to the time before mercury goes retrograde okay so just to be forewarned um so try to get that all in place the other movement this week is um Venus comes out of its retrograde move as well, and that's sitting in your solar 11th house. So friends, you know, that you haven't seen for a while can come back, and certainly, you know, friends can be more supportive around you at this time. So that's nice as well. So have a great week. Thank you for watching. I'm Jennifer Angel. Bye for now.